Welcome to another episode of If You Were There. Today we'll be looking at the life and letter of a World War I soldier named Wayne H. Thompson. First I'll give you all some background information on his life. Wayne H. Thompson was born on the 11th of December 19, 1894 to Noah and Haiti Thompson. They were a farming family in rural Iowa and he was the eldest of 11 siblings. Wayne became part of the 31st Infantry Division, 62nd Brigade, uh, training at Camp Green and Camp Jackson. The division began its overseas movements by September of 1918. Overseas movements means pretty much going from the training camps over to where the point of departure is, which in this case was New York. So Wayne H. Thompson went to Camp Mills where he wrote this letter before going to the New York forts. Um, he wrote this letter 18 days before he left and it was the last letter he wrote to his mother and father before he went overseas. September 12th, 1918. Dear mother and father, I will drop you a few lines to let you know I am well and hope you are the same. I received your letter today telling me about Arthur Graves being dead and I sure hated to hear he was and feel sorry for his folks for they had no other boy. I don't think so, do they ma? But I guess that we will all have to kick in someday. But it is the least of my thoughts. I guess a fellow had ought to think more about it than I do. But if I did, I guess I would be no good, so I just drum along. But I will be home some time or another, I guess. Well, Ma, I will write to you when we go over there, so you will know how to write your letters to me. And I think you will get your money sometime, all okay. For you know it is good when Uncle Sam owes you, for he's a good boy, but sometimes slow. Well, Ma, don't worry and take care of yourself while your boys you talk about are given the Germans hell. Well, some of the other guys we know stay at home and sleep in a good house and drink out of chinaware and wear shiny shoes. We stay in our pup tents and fight like the devil, and they make good money while we got our dollar hard. But someday we will be back, and you know damn well I can make more money in a week than a lot of them can in a month. And I believe I can kick about five times as many huns, so I guess they're all right in, at home, for they might get in the way any time and get hurt. So I won't say anything bad about them fellows, for I sure feel sorry for them, for they are so awful scared, they will have to go over there someday. But I guess all you guys who are here are Mama's boys too, and we are going to fight for her, so she will be safe for the rest of her days, for she has fought for us, for me I know, of for 27 years, and it is my time now, and I am no coward when I get the chance to do it, and you know it, Mom, don't you? Well, we had supper and it's about time for me to get some of that said sleep pretty soon. Now it's nice weather here today, but it's rather chilly. You asked me about that influenza, but they have it in camp. Don't worry, for there's none of it in my company at all. So don't bother about it, for I don't think it is any more than a bad cold. Well, I must close for tonight and we'll write from someplace else sometime soon. Remain your son, Wayne, to mother and father. Goodbye. Good luck. XXX. So 18 days after Mr. Wayne H. Thompson wrote this letter, he departed on the USS Orizaba with the 31st Infantry Division. He arrived there at the port of Brest, France between the 13th and 21st of October. And due to the Musargan offensive being such a costly offensive for the United States, his division was skeletonized, meaning broken up um, by November of 1918. He he was probably assigned to the 2nd Depot Division and served a few months as uh, in occupation duty. He then went back to the United States, uh, I think a few months later probably, and got married to Enola Hemphill Thompson, and he lived with her until his death in 1970 at age of 75. He had no kids and is interred at Grand Junction, Greene County, Iowa, the place where he was born. Uh, I'm lucky to have gotten this letter and I'm glad to be able to preserve his memory and hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please subscribe and I'll be, keep, try to keep posting these, these videos.